Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Zenner, and today we're here in our winter mini zoo to check out all the animals from the Eurasia Animal Pack that is launching on the 13th of December. So without further talking, let's jump right into it. So the first animal we are going to look at is the wizen right over here. This male is now uh, sleeping, but you can tell, just look at the fur right over here, the ears and like on its head and stuff. It looks really fantastic and so adorable, actually. Like, it's not per se an animal that makes me super excited. The, the animal rest of the Eurasia Animal Pack is not my most favorite pack, but I do know that a lot of people are super excited for it. So I am just super happy for you guys to see your most favorite animals dropping in the Eurasia Animal Pack right over here. So uh, this is a female, if I am correct. Yes, it is. And then right over here, we have a little calf. And this one does look super adorable. Like that face, it looks almost like it's almost smiling. I don't know what that is, but it's really, really cute. Absolutely love these guys. They're so adorable. So now let's quickly go over the Zoopedia. The Wizened is near threatened. Their natural habitat is in Europe uh, with a lot of countries, which I'm not going to name all. The biomes are grassland, taiga, and temperate. One adult needs 420 square meters of land. They don't have any other requirements. Two, 525, three, 630, and so on. The temperature requirement is minus 7 to 38 degrees. So that's a pretty wide temperature requirement, which is super nice. And they need a fencing of higher than 1.25 meters. Species that are, you can have 2 to 13 in one habitat. Guests cannot enter their habitat. They become around 21 years old. They become mature at 3 years old. They can have a number of offspring of 1 and they are easy to reproduce in captivity. And here you can see all the enrichment items that you can unlock for this animal. There's nothing new in this pack, so everything we already know. And here are some fun facts about the Wizened. And they have an interspecies bonus with the European Follow Deer, Mute Swan, Red Deer, and Wild Bull. So talking about the Wild Bull, let's just right away jump over to this animal. Now we already did get another bull during the anniversary update. So I'm not entirely sure I have mixed feelings, let's call it that way, about this animal being added. Nonetheless, it does look really cool and the piglets look super adorable. It's actually really cool to see this one playing with the box like this. But the little ones, let me just find one for you guys. The uh, little ones do look super cute. I mean, this little snout right over here and how they wiggle their ears. I, I don't know exactly if it's like exactly a reskin of the other piglets that we have in the game. But I don't know, something just stands out for me with this little one and it just really melts my heart. I don't know how you guys, just to, let me know in the comments down below, <laughs> but they do look really adorable. So let's quickly go over it. the Zoopedia of the wild boar. They are of least concern. Their natural habitat is in Europe, Asia and in Africa with a lot of countries here as well. Biomes, temperate grassland, desert, taiga and tropical one adult needs 310 square meters, two 325, three 340. So you don't really need a really big habitat for these guys to keep them. They don't have any other requirements. Temperature requirements is minus 4 to 43 Celsius degrees and they need a fencing of higher than 1.25 meters. Species data, you can have 3 to 30 in one habitat. Guests cannot enter their habitat. They become around 20 years old. They become mature at 1 years old, and they can have a number of offspring of 2 to 5, and they are very easy to reproduce in captivity. So here are all the enrichment items that you can unlock for this animal. And these are some fun facts about the wild bull. And they have an interspecies bonus with the European fallow deer, the mute swan, the red deer, and the wizened. Moving on right over here to the wolverine, an animal that I would like to cuddle, but they're obviously way too dangerous to do that. But their fur looks absolutely fantastic. I've never seen this animal in real life before. I actually was surprised to see that their Dutch name is Vilvrat. Like, it's a name that I've heard before, but I don't think I've ever seen this animal in real life in a zoo or anything like that. They're probably in the Netherlands, but if you guys know what zoo that is, do let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, these animals do look absolutely fantastic. Definitely one of my most favorite animals of the Eurasia Animal Pack. And I mean, these little ones. 
They are so freaking cute, aren't they? Just look how fluffy they are and how beautiful they look. I am such a fan of these guys. They look so super adorable, even though I'm not entirely sure like how well they and accurate they look compared to real life. Uh, I am a fan. I'm definitely a fan. I would love to hear your thoughts about the Wolverine in the Eurasia Animal Pack in the comments down below. Would love to hear it. So let's quickly go over the Zoopedia. The Wolverine is of least concern. Their natural habitat is in Europe, Asia, and North America, with all these countries included. Biomes are tundra and taiga. One adult needs 574 square meters, and they need a little bit of climbing requirements. So two needs 656 and 44 climbing requirement, and three needs 738 and need five need 58 square meters of climbing requirements. Their temperature requirement is minus 13 to 28 degrees, so that's also pretty wide span, which I do really like. And they need a climbing proof fencing of above three meters. Species Adana, you can have a group size of one to two adults. You cannot enter their habitat. Their life expectancy is 15.5 years old. They become mature at two years old. You can have a number of offspring of one to five, and they are pretty difficult to reproduce in captivity. Research status, these are all the enrichment items that you can unlock for this animal. And here are some fun facts about the Wolverine. And they do not have an interspecies bonus with other animals. Moving on to the Takin, one of an animal I really never heard of before. I was actually so surprised to see these guys in game. Like they do look so good. And that fur, that darker color variation looks absolutely fantastic. I don't know what it is, but this animal does intrigue me so much. And I actually love it that they added this one into the game. So I'm able to learn about this animal. Like this one is a male. I actually don't know if the females look very different, but this is, well, these are two, <laughs> two females uh, making one tacking uh, basically. Uh, but yeah, these animals definitely look really fantastic. As, as I said, like the fur, I really love the color scheme of these guys. Also the little ones look super adorable. Oh my gosh, look at this one playing with this toy isn't that so cute <laughs> but they look really adorable as well i don't know all the animals do seem to have some kind of smell on their face not entirely sure if that is like super realistic but it does help with the overall cuteness of all these type of animals definitely a very cool animal that they added into the pack for me, very unexpectedly, because, well, as I said, like, these animals are not super high on my wishing list or anything like that. But I do find this animal super interesting, so I, I can totally see why some people that do know this animal are very excited to see this animal being added into the pack as well. So now let's quickly go over the Zoopedia. The tacking is vulnerable. Their natural habitat is in Asia, in Bhutan, India, Myanmar, and China. Biomes are taiga, grassland, tropical, and temperate. One adult needs 390 square meters, two 453, 510. So it goes up pretty fast, but this now for 570. I think it's all right. Uh, minus 7 to 42 temperature requirement, and they need a fencing of higher than 1.25 meters. Species data, you can have 2 to 20 adults in one habitat. Guests cannot enter their habitat. They become 18 years old. They become mature at 2.5 years old. They have a number of offspring of one and they are very easy to reproduce in captivity. And here you can find all the enrichment items you can unlock for this animal and some fun facts. And they do not have an interspecies bonus with any other animal. Moving on to another animal that I've never seen before in real life. Definitely a very interesting one. So this is the Sega and this is a male that we are seeing sleeping right over here. Now, I do have to admit, the first time that I heard these little ones, I was like, oh my goodness, that sounds so freaking cute. It sounds like a blah. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it, it sounds super adorable. But as soon as you hear it is a little bit too often, you're like, oh my God, just shut up. So yeah, the first seconds you are like, oh, it's so cute. But then like, no, please just don't. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is a female Sega right over here. It's really cool that they do look uh, pretty different, especially with the horns. Well, I don't know if the face actually looks a lot different. And also, just, just notice how this wiggles. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? A very interesting animal. I, I again, do really like it, even though it was not an animal high on my wishing list. That with this pack, I do learn more about new and or not new but different type of animals that we have in the world so this is definitely one of those animals and they look just super fantastic let me just show a little one here again because oh my gosh he looks so happy again i mean seriously they're so cute and the fur looks so adorable as well like the, it doesn't move as much that nose as the parents but it's obviously a lot tinier even when they when they make the noises, they look, look super adorable. <laughs> Definitely a very cute animal to have in your zoo, if you ask me. So now let's quickly go over the Zoopedia. The Sega is critically endangered. You can find them in Asia, Mongolia, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, and Russia. I don't actually know if my pronunciation in English is very well. Uh, biomes, desert and grassland. One adult needs 425 square meters. And if you go up, you can tell that it's not requiring that much space if you need more in one habitat. Their temperature requirement is 3 to 43 degrees, and they need a fencing of 1.25 meters. Species data, their group size is 4 to 11. Guests can enter the habitat, but these animals are pretty shy, so I'm not entirely sure if that is like the smartest thing to do. Their life expectancy is around 11 years old. They become mature at 2 years old. They have a number of offspring of 1 to 2, and their reproduction in captivity is on average difficulty. Research status, these are all the enrichment items that you can unlock for this animal, and these are some fun facts. And they do not have an interspecies bonus with any other animal. Moving on to the sloth bear right over here. And as you can tell, the fur of this animal looks absolutely fantastic. Oh, look at that one sitting on his bum. That, well, then you have seen that one already. Then I don't have to wait for that. <laughs> but yeah, these guys look insane. The shaggy hair, whoever made this at Frontier did such a fantastic job the animal looks super beautiful i was not excited about another bear but now that i see the bear in action it is a very very awesome animal so it does make me a lot more exciting now and it, it just looks super beautiful let me just go and check out uh, a cup right over here oh there's one sitting on his bum as well look at this face oh it's so adorable isn't it <laughs> <laughs> don't think I've ever seen these animals in real life, so can't really say I know too much. Oh, you're walking through the Christmas tree? Oh, well, that's all right. That's all right. Can't really say uh, much about how I saw them in real life and how accurate they are. But I, I do think looking at pictures, these animals do look absolutely fantastic. I, I do would love to know what your thoughts are about the sloth bear and especially like the hair i don't know i just can't get over it it just looks so freaking fantastic honestly really impressive work so now let's quickly go over the zoopedia the sloth bear is classified as vulnerable their natural habitat is in asia india nepal and bhutan they require biomes or grassland temperate and tropical one adults needs 850 square meters of land and 40 square meters of climbing requirements and two need 930 square meters and 56 climbing requirements their temperature requirement is minus 4 to 42 degrees and you need a climbing through fencing of three meters or higher species that now you need one to two adults in one habitat you cannot enter their habitat surprisingly they can become around 35 years old they become mature at three years old number of offspring one to three and their reproduction in captivity is of average difficulty research status these are all the enrichment items that you can unlock for the sloth bear it's quite a lot even the beaver pool and the water pool which is pretty cool and here are some fun facts about the sloth bear and they do not have an interspecies bonus enrichment with any other animals of the game moving on to the only exhibit animal of the eurasia animal pack and as you can tell the exhibit is slightly changed this is with all the enrichment items turned on by the way 
if you don't have them, then it's it's mostly dirt with, with one or two rocks or something like that. Uh, but yeah, this right over here is the adorable tortoise. But yeah, I say adorable. It, it does look super cute. But other than that, it, being an exhibit animal, it just doesn't make me super excited. But I know there are people out there that are very happy that the Herman's tortoise is being added into the game. It is a very cute animal though, but yeah, uh, for me, it, it's just not really exciting me too much to have exhibit animals in the game if I can't really do much with them and I don't really see them move too much. But yeah, if you are happy with the Herman's tortoise, then this pack definitely is for you. So let's quickly go over the Zoopedia. The Herman's tortoise is classified as near threatened. Their natural habitat is in Europe in all of these countries biome grassland and temperate temperature requirement 25 to 35 humidity 50 to 60 and it's an exhibit animal as i said you can have 1 to 16 in one exhibit that does sound like a lot of tortoises if you ask me it can become 90 years old which is actually crazy if you think about that they become mature at 12 years old number of offspring two to five and they're easy to reproduce in captivity Research status, these are all the uh, enrichment items bonus, some fun facts about the Herman's tortoise. I do not have an interspecies bonus with any other animal. Moving on to actually one of my most favorite animals now of the pack, which I did not expect when I first heard about the mute swan being added into the game. But these animals are just so freaking beautiful, absolutely fantastic. And uh, I don't know why I wasn't very excited at first, but man, these birds are just so good. And I think it's also just us really wanting more birds into the game. And uh, this animal, just, just look at it. It just looks so freaking beautiful from hat to toe, from uh, everything. It just looks so amazing. And uh, I don't think that we will be seeing it. But if they do like amazing animation, they make like this cute little heart like you know from the mute swan of course that you can see in real life as well so that will be pretty much the mating animation they do get quite a number of offspring i didn't even put all of them in here because it goes pretty fast and just look at these little ones i still am not entirely sure about how dark they are colored some of you say in the comments that it's pretty normal Others do say like, oh, I don't know, they look still a little bit maybe too dark color to me. But nonetheless, they do look super cute and the noises they make, it just melts your heart. I really cannot wait to add these swans and like all of my zoos now and all the ponds that we have. Because they are such a fantastic addition to any of your zoo. I, I do, I'm super curious to hear your thoughts about the mute swan. Do let me know in the comments down below. Are you guys as excited as I am about these guys? <laughs> they are definitely the big winner uh, for me of this pack. Absolutely amazing. So now let's quickly go over the Zoopedia. The mute swan is classified as least concern. Their natural habitat is in Europe and Asia, in all of the temperate mainland of Eurasia. Their biomes are aquatic and temperate. One swan needs 300 square meters and 150 square meters of land. Two needs 312 and 156, so it's not going up at all that much, so that is just great. And their temperature requirement is minus 5 to 30. 34 degrees and they need a fencing of higher than 1.25 meters species that are you can have up to 2 to 50 adults in one habitat guests can enter their habitat their life expectancy is around 30 years old they become mature at three years old they can have a number of offspring of three to five so as i said it's going really fast and they are very easy to reproduce in captivity so definitely do keep that in mind research status these are all the enrichment items that you can unlock for these animals and here are some fun facts about the mutes one and they do have an interspecies bonus with european follow deer the red deer the wild boar and the wizened and with the eurasia animal pack you will also get this new campaign scenario can you keep a secret meet with bernie goodwin again in this campaign scenario aid him with his secret mission to design and build a zoo as a surprise retirement gift for nancy jones to watch over her twilight years. Having worked together for over 30 years, Bernie is bursting with excitement while working on this project for his oldest friend. 
Can Bernie keep his plans under wraps or will Nancy catch on? This is definitely a fantastic campaign scenario. This, this map looks really great for whoever created this, this map. Definitely did a fantastic job. So well done to you Frontier. I can definitely see many people being very excited about this beautiful map and to play around with it. Maybe just play it in sandbox mode as well and should just keep adding upon it. Definitely a very, very cool map that you will also get with the Eurasia Animal Pack. So yeah, these were all the animals of the Eurasia Animal Pack with definitely the Mute Swan being on my number one on this animals list. It's still not my most favorite pack, but after seeing all the animals and how great they are looking, I definitely got a lot more excited about this pack. But obviously, I'm super curious to hear your thoughts about this pack as well. What do you guys think about the animal roster that is now added into the Eurasia? Asia animal pack. What is your most favorite animal after seeing all these beautiful animals in their in, in some kind of habitat? At least I wanted to say in their habitat, but this is obviously not made for these animals, just using it as a little bit of a backdrop. But yeah, do let me know in the comments down below what you guys all think of the Eurasia animal pack. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed it and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. Yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys!